Happy Wednesday, guys. Uh, today we got a good little workout. Back to our EMOMs again, increasing that time um, interval going to 28 minutes now. So, EMOM 28, first minute 10 to 15 wall balls, second minute 8 to 15 cal row, third 8 to 12 burpee over your med ball, fourth minute 5 to 8 power clean. So, uh, with today, guys, and like last week, the focus is your awareness of your effort levels. So uh, what that means, guys, I want you to be thinking about how you feel as you're doing the certain number of reps you chose or the progression you chose as you're going throughout the workout. This is going to give you an idea of whether you should um, reduce reps, reduce your progressions to get to a, um, uh, an effort level that's sustainable and you can manage throughout this workout. So that takes us to our next point, which is all about managing and being consistent in the workout. Um, remember, this again, the workout is gonna be challenging as you go because you're building up that fatigue. But again, it should be a workout that you, sh you can sustain. You can hold it for that 28 minutes. So um, this workout's more about building your engine that we want to think about building it for long periods of time. So you need to pick an effort level that is sustainable. Uh, if you want to go with metrics, you're going about 70, 80% uh, effort level there uh, for however you feel, like based on you. Um, another thing, guys, is that it is going to be challenging both physically and mentally. Know that going in. But again, you're choosing those progressions to best suit you for that effort level. So um, if you find yourself in that situation where it's getting to the point where you're not completing number of reps per minute, or you're just panting for air and you're, you're like only one round or two rounds in, adjust your reps, adjust them down because you wanna be able to work for about 40 to 45 seconds per interval to really build your capacity here. We don't wanna um, start learning how to go really fast in the beginning and drop off. The goal is to learn how to get into a steady pace and hold it for long periods of time. So teach yourself how to do that. And of course, in the beginning, there's gonna be some hiccups. You're gonna to have to make some adjustments in the beginning, but make those adjustments to best suit you. And don't try to stick to the rep schemes uh, on the board. So if eight, 12, and the 15 reps are too much for you, that's okay. Choose reps that are best suited for you that you can work for 40, 45 seconds um, and sustain it for the 28 minutes. The goal of this one, guys, again, it's physical and mental um, to build that aerobic capacity. So what I like doing with this, I know when it gets maybe two or three rounds in and you, you still have a lot to go, start thinking about it in different ways and how you can progress throughout the workout. So um, with this one, guys, you got four, uh, you got seven rounds, if you can think about it, as um, there's four intervals, seven rounds here. Think about your rounds as you get through the fourth round and you finish your fourth round, be like, oh, there's only three more rounds. I've already finished four, I can finish the last three. It should be easy to do. I've already gone this far, I've suffered this far, I should be able to do three rounds. Or another way to think about it, and this is kind of how I think about it, is when I'm in that later rounds and I'm around, let's say the 24 or the 20 minute mark there, it's getting really tough. Um, I kind of think of the opposite. I think about, oh, I'm gonna actually be going for 40 minutes, so let me pace myself out so I can hit the 40 minute mark. Even though it's 28 minutes, I'm gonna be thinking about a longer period of time so I can really dial in how I'm pacing and how I'm managing the workout. If you really uh, get stuck up on the rounds and finishing each uh, movement at the uh, at a specific mark or you're struggling through each one it's going to make it a lot more harder so think of it from a bigger picture think of it uh, maybe from uh, kind of that strategy where it's longer periods of time maybe you're not doing an EMOB 28 you're doing an EMOB 56 for example try to pace it that way I'm, I'm trying to get to that EMOB 56 try to finish 56 minutes of work That'll give you a different perspective on the workout and make it a little bit easier since the intervals are getting longer. But remember at the end of the day, guys, you're progressing off what you did last time and you're just building that capacity. When you get to go do other workouts and test yourself later on, guys, you're gonna find, you're gonna have more um, capability and more capacity to get through a workout 
um, and hold the pace for even longer because you did all this work here. So uh, don't forget about that, guys. So after this workout, definitely well-deserved active recovery. So let's take five minutes, um, get on a bike, go at a really slow pace where you can control it, whether you're using your arms or just using your legs. Um, you can go on the rower, you can go for a walk, or even just lie down, go for some stretching, um, or just breathing for five minutes. Just really take the time to let your body down regulate. It's really important to do that after workouts, guys, especially when you're putting a lot of stress on it. It's good to down regulate, so then that helps you induce the recovery, and that's the important part, recovering and coming back stronger so that you can do even more the next time. And hint, hint, we're probably gonna be doing uh, in month 32 the next week. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you guys today.